Hello, YouTubers, friends, compatriots. Blue Liquor Shields, Death Slate, Search Peasants, Vassals, Minions, Meat Sacks. I'm Useful Idiot. Welcome. And, uh, let's go back to the USA in this global context and uh, talk about the black budget. So this is a fifth in a series of videos I, I'm doing that have to do with uh, the idea of global corporate governance, uh, the deep state, and uh, the military industrial complex, and uh, globalization. And uh, the reason why black the black budget is part of this is because the series is because, of course, the fact that a black budget is necessary to run a lot of the apparatus that's already in place for uh, global corporate governance, the military industrial complex, and the deep state. Without secret money, uh, it would be hard to operate in secret. And uh, we've had some uh, some revelations, although they're called black budgets because uh, none of the numbers are supposedly revealed. We have gotten a glimpse. Uh, one example is uh, from Edward Snowden. Uh, we found out that in uh, 2013, uh, the CIA and NSA uh, received $52 billion. Uh, military black operations got $58 billion, uh, and uh, the CIA got uh, $14 billion. The NSA got $10 billion in, uh, in supplementals besides the $52 billion, as well as $23 billion to military intelligence. So uh, not only does this tie in with the, the black budgets needed to run uh, the deep state, but uh, this also has a, 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 a relation to the video I did about the, the defense budget and the military budget in the United States and how uh, you can't really base it on the numbers they throw around because, for example, right here we see another $100 billion, $150, $200 billion uh, more in what essentially amounts to defense spending. For example, the CIA budget, uh, we know that there's lots of CIA operations going on in Syria and Iraq and all over the world and uh, so uh, for all practical purposes it's part of the, the military budget but uh, officially they they describe the black budget as a necessary tool to fund um, spy satellites, stealth bombers, next generation drones, next generation radar, advanced weapon systems and uh, next generation surveillance and uh, that's all true but uh, certainly a lot of this money goes into day-to-day uh, -day operations uh, for all kinds of paramilitary operations and, uh, and spy operations and clandestine operations and covert operations going on all over the world. And uh, I, I thought one of the more fascinating components uh, that's missing even from these calculations of black budgets is the fact that they have uh, invisible sources. So you have the DEA and the CIA and the FBI and all these agencies who uh, get lots of money from confiscation, from financial crimes, uh, from the drug war, and uh, just global confiscation. And that, that number could add uh, another hundreds of billions, perhaps, of uh, money that goes into these black budgets. And uh, kind of like the police can you use that to, to fill out their budgets with these uh, civil asset forfeiture laws. But uh, a small click in Congress has debated uh, uh, these uh, black budgets and wanted to make them public, but of course uh, in, in, it's been introduced and, uh, and uh, it's been quick, quickly shut down. Uh, nobody really wants to talk about this. And that, that's one of the interesting things as well is that a lot of the, these black budgets are uh, debated by the small clique of Congress and that most congressmen uh, don't even know what these black budgets are. So uh, uh, that's a, an interesting aspect of this. The people that are handpicked to be on these committees that oversee the black budget uh, have to be very, very carefully uh, vetted. And uh, in, uh, there's unknown budgets for 16 total agencies. So besides the ones I mentioned, uh, there's multiple other uh, agencies. Uh, uh, for example, the military intelligence, army intelligence, uh, besides uh, the NSA and the FBI and the CIA. Um, and, and apparently, uh, from things that have leaked out, the, the budgets stay about the same every year. So you can just add another anywhere from 50 to 200 billion dollars every year to what they say the, the military budget is. And um, one of the other things that came out about these uh, black budgets, uh, some of the details in the articles is uh, people that are involved uh, talking about the military technology. And we, we already knew this, but it's still interesting to have it confirmed that military te technology that is in, in development um, and is, uh, is, is highly classified is far, far in advance of anything that uh, we see in the public and also that the CIA and military operations and covert operations going on around the world are far more expansive and uh, more involved than uh, 
than we would uh, suspect as, as well. And then, uh, you know, the one uh, kicker at the end, too, is uh, the, the theories that a lot of this money for black budgets is, is laundered through the IMF and the World Bank. So, uh, once again, we, we go back to this connection between uh, the black budgets and uh, these uh, globalization and the deep state and global uh, corporate governments all going hand in hand, um, having the IMF and the World Bank involved. You know, like I said, it just proves that um, the, all these uh, secret layers uh, can be financed out of the public and uh, be uh, uh, heavily financed too. And uh, it, one of the things too, this whole black budget it kind of explains a phenomenon that I've had trouble with, and that's the fact that all these uh, corporations uh, continually rip off the federal government. And there's uh, tons and tons of, deck, uh, of uh, uh, documentation of it uh, going back uh, 50 or 100 years. And uh, I might even have to do a separate video on that. Um, but uh, the idea that the, all these corporations have defrauded the government so much, uh, th there's never any talk about rebates from the corporations. There's never any talk about uh, any any uh, crimes being charged. And, and, and certainly the, the most alarming fact, a lot of the contracts are never uh, canceled. So that, it, the black budget uh, helps explain that, that uh, maybe that's part of the, uh, the arrangement that we have between the military and the government, the corporations now, that uh, we give them a free pass to uh, rip off the taxpayer through these uh, inflated contracts and work work not done. And then uh, the other thing about the black budget is, like I say, these numbers I throw around uh, are hard to, to uh, figure, but I, I do want to remember the fact that uh, on uh, September 10th, 2001, the day before 9-11, uh, Donald Rumsfeld announced that the Pentagon was missing 2.3 trillion dollars and then of course it became a non-story the day after 9-11 uh, but then it turns out that uh, there's some documentation to show that uh, in 1999 there was 2.3 trillion dollars missing in 2000 uh, there was 1.1 trillion dollars missing and then another 2.3 trillion so there's a uh, nearly uh, six trillion dollars missing in a three-year period um, which could go a long way in funding for example I don't know Black budgets? I'm useful idiot. Don't you be one too?